world of boxing. Right now, Don Duffy and I will take a good hard look at... Uh, Almost 10 years younger than Tiger at 6'3 and a half. He's up. Middleweight. He has come in here light tonight. Foster, while he's a tall man... Of Zach Clayton and the referee for the main event, the challenger, Bob Foster. Heavyweight King, Dick Tiger. Hands down, good luck. All right, they've completed the instructions to both... On a round basis, the scoring and the supplementary points that the man has floored at or near the bell, the count will continue on... Foster has a good jolting left hand, a sharp chip. Foster's longest distance is 12 rounds, and he only did this. He can try for a quick knockout. He's capable of young. And Tiger is a good with either hand. The left hook, the clubbing right. He opens up, he'll do it with combinations. <laughs> Much the taller of the two from Washington, D.C., Dick Tiger. Ordinarily, he pumps it in there like a piston, like Ernie Terrell. The referee is up on his toes. Round three at the new Madison Square Garden. Bob Foss. A good, uh, solid right hand. Two minutes left in this round. Spring must be very slippery. Foster looked as though. Foster has the reach 79 inches to 71, and he's. Tiger took the first two rounds, and then Foster started to come on. Now that jab is starting to work on Tiger. with a dynamite left hook that caught get hard left hook as Dick Tiger was trying to collect it. He had dropped the, last, the first two rounds to Dick Tiger who came on Buster. Here we are up in the ring with the new light heavyweight champion. Five seconds. Oh, well, you got two, four, five. I was watching Tiger. He was ducking into a right uppercut. My pal Ken Stripling. We don't have time for that, Bob. But what are his plans? As he's been doing. There it is, you see that left con did count him out, but he was in trouble, and there's a very... The light heavyweight division. Foster one time was a featherweight champion. 24 knockouts. Of the four fights he lost, it's very interesting. 